caprylic acid, which is uh, very rich in coconut, organic coconut oil. So we have to look at what we're eating so that we're not feeding the problem. But beyond that, after you do all that, it's still uh, kind of, you know, shaking its fist at you. And I went, (laughs) oh, Lord, I cannot tell you how many experiments I put my body through uh, to try to find. And again, divinely guided, I was taken to Georgia in this United States, in the South, uh, to be with uh, a situation with my family. And I was working in the African-American community there in a little herb store. And the manager said, you have to try this Miracle 2 soap. And there's a lot of rhetoric around it that sort of put me back a little. But she said, no, 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 you know, listen to this tape. And on the tape was an audio tape of the man who founded or formulated Miracle 2 Soap. And I realized he was for real. So I went back and got it, and I got what's called Miracle 2 Neutralizer. And I began to work with them. And I found them to be profound, absolutely profound, soaking uh, 10 to 15 minutes a day in the soap, in a bathtub, washing. It's the only soap I use now. My hair, my face, my clothes, my bedding, <laughs> um, soaking in it. And then the neutralizer, which is an internal application. And also you can spray up your nose, in your ears, on your hair, on your face. I found them to be very profound. It's now, also, I don't know. I, don't... I don't know if you can, outside of the United States, what the availability is. But I am told uh, by the woman who I buy my soap from that they have a powder type thing that they can ship anywhere in the world and you can reformulate it using uh, distilled water. Yeah, actually it's spring water. Oh, I'm sorry, spring water. Yeah. Um, after you told me, this is Cece, after you told me about the Neutralizer 2 and the Miracle 2 soap, I ordered some, and having tortured myself with a number of treatments from hydrogen peroxide, baking soda, borax, sodium percarbonate, on and on, I took a bath in this one night, and I was just stunned after I drained the bathtub what the black light showed me. And yeah. that's when I replaced every, I threw out every soap, or cleaner I have, and I find it is just, it's wonderful in your hair. I don't use cream rinse anymore. I actually, if I can say this on air, I lay down in the bathtub, and I'll use a douche bag and put a couple of ounces of it right up there, and it it's absolutely the one of the most amazing products I have ever run across. Yeah, it lives up to its name. Let's just put prayer around it and light around it that it doesn't go away, you know. But this is very important, too, uh, to our wellness. Now, yes. pseudo-life forms. What do we do about those guys? Yeah, we don't want to push them out. Yeah, really. We don't want to push them out um, as I did or as a lot of people are, only because it's so terribly painful and unsightly and, and, and all kinds of things. So my goal was, how do I get them out? How do we get them out internally through our elimination systems, the colon, the urine, whatever? And it turns out, just like they run toward, um, well, we talked about organic red wine, but organic purple grape. They do the same thing internally. In other words, I put, I put myself on a three-day fast of just, um, or, and, some, and, and I'm not recommending everybody do some people don't do well with fasts, okay? I'm not recommending this. I'm just sharing this experience. And I started doing an enormous amount of organic purple grape and nothing else. And it was an overload. And what I learned from that is don't be too too aggressive. It can flip on you. If you, Especially if you have a lot of this material in you, it can really kind of, well, they call it Herkimer's, but it's way beyond that. You can take yourself pretty close to the edge. So you want to do it slowly and surely. That's the key to this whole thing, slowly and surely. But I found by drinking organic purple grape, either through the wine source or the grape juice, that it would also pull, attract, and encourage uh, the exodus of these things uh, through your urine and through your colon. 
So that's the best that I could find uh, in terms of dealing with those guys and so that they don't um, push out. Now, if you want to continually do as a therapy the mouth swish, again, there's a big warning around that about your dental work, your teeth. You can do that, too. That's a, that's a personal decision uh, if that's what you want to do. So the mouth swish test would be, for a person, a good meter, a good, uh, it, it would tell you whether or not the product that you're drinking, the organic grape, is effective. And if it is effective, then it would be advised to maybe drink a glass or two of that per day. Would, would that be a recommended That would be amount? a good idea, in my opinion. Yeah, yeah. That would be a good, okay. I- good idea, in my opinion. But with that said, if you have a good health care practitioner that you trust and that's with it and that understands what's going on, try to work one-on-one um, and share these therapies. These are all for everybody. This is nothing I'm holding to my chest uh, for any reason. Share them with them. Tell them what you're doing and, and try to work one-on-one because that's a safe way to take this journey. Yes. Yeah. And that's, and that's, good, that's important to understand, people, that, um, you know, that, that you must work with your health prof- professional in, in this game. Uh, Dr. Gwen Scott is available uh, for these consultations, uh, but she, you know, gives her information away freely too. So research, research, research. So, okay, so we've covered, we've covered getting the, the diatomaceous earth to remove the metals and now to attack the fungus network. I believe the Sun 2 soap and neutralizer has been uh, the most successful. Um, and and these, these are the two products that you, you highly recommend, aren't they, yeah. Doctor? Yeah. And I, I have to say, and, and so that, Stan, I don't sell anything at all. I do have a, 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 a DVD that I made. Uh, it's not focused on chemtrails or morgellons. It was for the general populace to try to get them to understand uh, to move away from drugs into natural and blah, 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 blah. And that's one of the things that, you know, buys my food and whatever. But in terms of what we're doing here, none of this, I don't sell any products. I try to share this information freely, uh, and I ask you to do the same. Everybody share out, share out, share out. These times are not times for profit, per se. These are times to open our hearts and understand that we are one humanity and we need to help each other. The final thing that <coughs> that keeps showing up is this crystalline polymer material in us and um, it might be, of all the things that we've mentioned, one of the most concerning. Its purpose is still unclear. Uh, everybody has an opinion. It looks like it might be programmable. Um, something like a computer type thing. It certainly integrates into our tissue. Uh, it's in our blood. It's in our scar tissues. Um, and it's a, it's a difficult at best. I think the Miracle 2 soap and neutralizer uh, help. Uh, I think the Himalayan crystal pink salt helps break it up so our body can get it out. Uh, I know uh, smoking certain herbs like spearmint, mullein, Comfrey, Herba Santa, Sage, Colt's Foot. These things are very, very helpful uh, in helping it come out of our lungs, helping us cough it up out of our lungs. Uh, but it, 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 uh, it's toughy. It's a toughy in terms of getting, getting it out of our bodies. Now, Dr. Mike Castle says that apple cider vinegar of course, organic does help, um, and, he, and he puts a cautionary around that. If anybody has any kind of silicone implants or if they've had their face, he's working with a woman right now. Her face was injected with silicone, I guess, for cosmetic purposes. Then you don't want to consider uh, incor- including apple cider vinegar into your regimen because he says it helps uh, silicone dissolve and then uh, it's worse. So if you've got any of that going on, maybe not a good therapy. But for the rest of us, he says, um, apple cider vinegar is a very good solvent for this polymer. That's interesting. 
Have you done any work with enzymes, or can you make any comment about what role enzymes might play in good health or detoxing from the elements and chemtrails? Well, enzymes are critical to everything. You know, that's that's just critical. The problem is now in this country they're passing laws, um, and I don't know when they're going to implement them, that, that all of our organic foods have to be radiated or irradiated, and that will kill, destroy uh, all the enzymes in our foods, uh, which are critical for digestion, absorption, uh, assimilation of all of the nutrients that we need. Uh, enzymes are critical, and many people are very deplete. Now, if you're still able to get that in supplementation, fine, go for it uh, at the health store. But we don't even know because they're marching towards shutting that availability down to all of us um, in this country. And I, and I know Germany and most of Europe uh, <clears throat> that these things are not available. Obviously, if we can eat greenhouse organically grown vegetables, that's the best way to go. Sprouts, if you can and make sure that the sprout, the seeds are not uh, GMO'd or in any way been alterated or irradiated. A lot of the seeds are irradiated now. I mean, it's a crazy landmine thing we're going through here. Um, but sprouting your food will give you some very rich sources of enzymes in, you know, in your own home, in the protection of your own home as best you can. I've been um, putting a lot of organic, quote-unquote, foods under the microscope, and it's very disturbing because I'm seeing these materials in, in our food, even the best of our food uh, that we're trying to uh, be conscious about and eat organics. But if it's been grown outside, it only makes sense. We have millions of tons of this stuff dropped on the earth. The soil absorbs it, and, of course, it's going to go up into whatever's growing there. And Dr. No. Scott, I know um, I had an experience with um, with inflammation after a car accident, and I know that I was working. I had finally given up on um, conventional medical doctors because they were just harming me more. I had six ruptured discs as a result, and I wasn't healing. And I w started working with an ac acupuncturist who did um, Chinese herbal medications as well, and he teamed up with a naturopathic doctor and discovered that I was very deficient in a lot of these enzymes, and some of those enzymes were real specific to controlling inf inflammation, which that would be, you know, one of the main um, reasons that we experience pain and, and a lot of other exactly. conditions. So is, is that depletion of enzymes, um, are you saying that the depletion of enzymes is actually um, could be related to the heavy metals or the nanoparticles? Uh, it's, it's related to a lot of things. Uh, how to go back. Um, in the old, 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 old days when we grew our food, we had the wisdom to rotate our gardens, um, seven-year cycles, so that all of the wonderful nutrients that were in the soil would come up into our food and, and we would get the benefit from all that. But so much has happened since then. And so... Enzymes are very, very delicate little beings, and easily, well, they're totally destroyed in the 